in the world of fragrance, making you smell delicious and offending you at the same time may be considered especially heinous. In New York City, a gorgeous Cubano and his elite squad of ball sprayers will seek out these colognes and investigate them. This is his story. Bitch. <laughs> Are y'all motherfuckers ready for the battle royale y'all bitches have been asking for? Back when I did my Ball the Freak video hmm, months ago, a lot of people had thrown comments, yo, what about Better for Fatal? What about Atelier Better for Fatal? What do you think? Do they smell similar? I heard they're clones of each other. I heard they... A writer ready. So I got my hands on Better for Fatal, a full bottle. So we gonna put Byredo Ball the Freak versus Better for Fatal by Atelier Cologne. Roll my motherfucking music and find out, and let's see who's getting knocked out. Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. Mano y mano versus a versus a frick frick it versus. That's what we're gonna do today. Put them side by side comparison on the Cuba test strip sponsored by Bounty and find out if in fact they are very similar and which one supersedes the other one. Big word alert. We got that ball, the freak, and we got Atelier Vetiver Fatal. So we're gonna see if these motherfuckers smell alike which one's better than the other, and which one possibly outperforms the other one, because this one is slightly less expensive than this one. That's if you shop it right. So I have these pre-sprayed on the Cuba test strips. So let me pick up the strips now as we speak. Start off with Verve Fatal. Mm. The thing about Atelier Colognes, if y'all don't know already, which most of y'all do, is that Citruses by any other brand will not compare to Atelier Citrus. Citrus is done to perfection in every Atelier Cologne. I don't love every Atelier Cologne because I'm not the biggest citrus fan. It has to be blended well with it. It has to have some body to it, some depth, some darkness, some man tits, AKA middies for me to really wear it and enjoy it to its fullest extent. I know citruses are catered more to the summertime and should be worn as such. However, I just like a little body in it. This one got body. It's got that amazing citrusy Sicilian lemon vibe. The vetiver in here, wow. But it's also got my baby hidden in here, which I fail to remember. There's a little plum action. Juicy plum, ripe. Blackish purple, my favorite. This one actually performs decent, not amazing. It's rare that I find an Atelier fragrance that I've tried on my skin that has been astronomical in the performance game, but this one flows decent. But the vetiver, woodiness, earthiness, plummy juiciness about this one, damn. Gonna potentially make me recant my original statement about Ball the Freak, or will it? Let's find out. Now, balls of freaks. So let's see what you're doing on this Cuba test strip right now. Mm. See? It's a problem. This one now, each one has been sprayed three times and dried down at the same exact time on the Cuba test strips. Yet this one is a little bit faint on the Cuba test strip. It's gorgeous. Vetiver, but it's a little soapier, shower friendly than the Vetiver Fatal. You don't got that juicy, dark, ripe plum that daddy likes, but you can't negate the fact that this one is delicious. Bitch, oh, I got goose pimples going down the crack of my ass. Not as earthy, more soapy, more cleaner, more refreshing than the Vetiver Fatal. However, in having these bitches side to side, the Atelier is coming out like a powerhouse. Am I being a little judgmental because it's got my plum note? Yes, I am, as a matter of fact. Side by side, they both have a similar vetiver freshness, but they are not clones. I don't even think I could get one confused with another one. Now if I put them together, hmm, mm. yeah. I mean, for y'all fools who like to layer, this might be some interesting layering combination. 
Ugh, I hate layering, but let me just do it for the video. Maybe I'll get like six extra clicks for you layer fans. Hold on. Let's spray my balls of freaks here. God, Jesus, that spray, you saw that shit? And let's throw a little vetiver fatale on top of it. This is just so much effort. I, just, I don't know how you layering people do it. All right, let's let this shit dry out because I can just tell from the opening right now it wasn't smart. Mm. Yeah. I feel like if they were a good clone or a solid clone, they would have at least had some similar that it, the marriage of it just went very well. Like if the perfect spoon position, you and your spouse, you just get that thigh wrapped around you and you're just there like a fucking uh, Kama Sutra pose, all downward dog into spiraling puppy, you know, all that shit, it would have just married very well on my arm. However, it sounds like they're fighting each other and actually it doesn't really smell that great. My final verdict of this particular video is that Vetiver Fatale is slightly better, but this video was about comparison and 60% close, if that. Which one is a ball sprayer? Both of them. I have two balls and each sack will get some love. Balls the freak will get the right and Vetiver Fatale will get the left. And hopefully they don't meet in the middle because that smell was just rancid. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. And these, uh, you know, equally divided nuts. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. It's your boy, Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, Mona roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough rugger that raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.